Finally, finally, finally! So of course we're back with another Pokemon video. So yeah, I, I don't know why I looked over to the side though. But of course we got the next review right here, which I wasn't gonna originally do, but then I was like, okay, I kind of want to do it because um, something really kind of cool happened in this episode, and I had a feeling it was going to happen, but I didn't review it. I was like, maybe I'll probably go ahead and review it anyway. So I might as well just do it anyway while I'm up here. Already got everything set up and everything, so of course, then I got to record a short anyway. So might as well just do this all in like one take and go, though. So yeah, um, the video is pretty easy, simple, and easy to go over, though. Um, I might upload it when I'm surely done or whatever, because um, it's been kind of cooled down for Dokken a lot lately. And just like other stuff a little bit in general, though. So of course, we see Ash and Go Sleeping, of course, and we see um, Drizzle. I, was, I really want to say Inteleon so bad. I don't know why. I, even before recording, I was like, Italian, Italian. I was like, Drizzle. I, I keep forgetting. Drizzle and Softball, I keep forgetting. Of course, we see all ghost Pokemon go to sleep. But we also see um, it training, though. So, um, yeah, I think it's running all of it. So, yeah, we also um, kind of see it training a little bit to come Italian, which we already kind of knew what was happening. But, yeah, we see a little bit more of that, I guess, kind of in this episode, though. Of course, we see um, a little bit of something we also see in the background, like ominous kind of silhouette we kind of seen before. But, yeah, um, of course, the episode starts out with going Ash, of course, joining their day and stuff like that. Of course, then we see, um, I think, Ren and um, Krista come in. Or Krista, was that? Oh, I was forgetting to forget. Uh, we see kind of the data, I guess to go away from Teresa's story. I think it's starting to kind of slowly go away. So I think it's specifically all the Galar stuff, I think, or just all the stuff in general, though, of course. Um, of course, everybody just doesn't, like, know what they're doing and stuff like that. Of course, Go is just, you know, go back and forth for a minute thinking about all the journeys. Because basically, all this stuff is almost basically gone, though. I'm not being mean or whatever, but all this stuff is basically kind of going away, though, so... I kind of get, I don't know what happened there. I kind of get why he's kind of like really just nervous and stuff like that, of course, though. So he is kind of like down in the dumps, like all his data, basically everything he caught up to now, basically, basically will mean nothing. It's basically like getting your game data almost deleted, almost. And that is kind of scary. That happened to me on tons of occasions. That's okay. Of course, we see um, Drizzle in this game and stuff like that, of course, come out. Uh, not really come out, but we see, um, of course, everybody's just trying to like get through the time and stuff like that by passing it. We see Ash kind of get muddy and messed up while Go is still kind of, you know, frustrated about it. Why everybody's still working hard? Um, and then the laboratory and stuff like that, of course. Then we see another little so what was going on, of course. But yeah, um, of course, though, everybody's still looking for clues and stuff like that. We see, of course, you know, the main, main mysterious antagonist for the episode, of course, you know, kind of skimming in the background. The Ninja's are kind of, you know, doing some stuff again, trying to be more Italian again, which is really good, though. It has been training. We've seen, like, it's been training, like, off screen. I feel like we kind of got a little bit more of that, but here's actually really perfect. We see it kind of, you know, uh, the blue just start training and stuff like that. And you see it also, like, hearing, you know, different noises and stuff like that, just kind of, like, seeing it, um, you know, going, like, you know, just observing the situation, like, what's going on and stuff like that. We see, like, a mysterious camouflage eating Pokemon that we've seen before, I believe. Um, you know, um, of course, there's still more data as it goes on. Of course, Go is still sad. Uh, basically, remember on all his Avengers and stuff like that, of course. He's super sad about it, though. Of course, everybody's just um, trying to get back up in the, um, of course, up in the spirit, trying to make sure we, um, they all get their um, data back and everything. Of course, we see um, Drizzle kind of, like, go off a little bit, though, of course. Um, we see Go so sad about the situation and stuff like that. Well, we see also Cry, and we also um, see, you know, Drizzle kind of, like, you know, train up a little bit more, still, you know, trying harder um, for more because... I guess it feels like the same thing is going on with Go. Like, they kind of feel each other because Sabo has felt that way. Drizzle kind of felt that way before, after he evolved and stuff like that. So, I do kind of get why it's kind of like messed up and down in the dumps a little bit. Never really Drizzle but Go, though. Because, you know, his day is going away. He's basically everything he caught up into now. It's basically just going away. It's like, it's like, you know, buying a toy and stuff like that. But you almost like, you think you lost it, but you can't, you don't think you're going to ever find it again. Again, this episode kind of relates a little bit, though. I kind of get it. Why, why you know, the situation goes kind of going through. And of course, Drizzle's super sad about it as well. Again, it's just trying harder so I can make sure to capture the um, wh whoever or whatever is doing the data and stuff like that. Core Goat is going on for night patrol, making sure. I think she's in well, Ash, I think, um, is sleeping as well. I guess like a, like a back and forth, kind of like night day patrol and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, of course, we see um, Drizzle actually um, assess the situation a little bit, though. We see, um, of course, Pokemon or who, whom or whoever is stealing the data. What is actually Pokemon? I forgot the name of that Pokemon. It was like Chameleon or Chameleon. Something too. I, honestly, I cannot really remember though. But it seems like it's a wild one that just captured the data. But it seems like it's just also working for. First, we saw earlier in the camouflage ish kind of suit, I believe. So, of course, we see Drizzle and, of course, um, go capture it. But, of course, um, 
you know, they, it kind of got away a little bit, though. Of course, Ash and Pikachu wake up. Um, how about go a little bit with the situation that's going on? They all go to the roof, of course. I'm um, trying to track it down the mysterious, or a mysterious antagonist of the series. <laughs> it's evil Sophocles. Sophocles from Moon Side Moon. I was like, okay, that's kind of funny a little bit. I can kind of see that a little bit, though, of course. Um, then, of course, right here, of course, we see it changes, exchanges in the battles with them both. Telling on a chameleon, of course. You see, um, it grab his tongue with, um, it, um, drizzle, drizzle. Oh my lord, I keep forget. I keep forgetting. Why do I keep messing it up? I said drizzle. I said drizzle on Italian. Subble. Whatever. Dang, I keep messing up. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Of course, we see it go back and forth. They get slammed into the wall, though, of course. Again, it just gets them to the wall. It's about to cry and everything. Of course, you see go protect it. Um, again, just going going back and forth between the whole entire journey, which actually makes sense and stuff like that. I actually like that tension of detail in this episode. Really, really good stuff, of course. Of course, we see Drillo get up and it fully evolve into Teleon, which is insane, though. When I first saw this, when I saw reviews for it, getting ready, I was like, oh my gosh, it evolved. I was like, I gotta review this episode because I've been kind of waiting for this for a really long time. So I'm kind of really glad this happened, though. But I'm glad. It evolved. It's up and everything ready to fight and rumble. It's like, nah, you grab me with your tongue? Sorry, boy. Forehead flick. Let's go. So, yeah. It's kind of really funny, though, of course. I am going to review that Chloe episode, though. I'm definitely going to review that Chloe episode. Uh, with, um, Umbreon, um, of course, um, um, eh, Espeon. I keep forgetting the name of it. Why? Well, I keep just forgetting everything. Of course, he uses Iron Tail, but of course, you know, Italian just bounces it back with his own tail, not even giving any effort. Of course, we see it use, uh, of course, the training is training we see in, like, you know, using it to its fullest potential. They both fall to the ground. We see Italian, of course, try to grab them both. And we see the command, of course, having a crush on it. So it seems like it's a girl. I think Italian. I don't know if Italian's a boy or a girl. I think Sabo. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I gotta probably go back and see the gender, maybe, of the episode. See so Chameleon, of course, fall in love with it, of course, you know, by saving it. Of course, Ash seems just really pissed off. Everybody's trying to figure out what's going on with the situation. Of course, we see Cerise come out and just, you know, we see a, you know, a just senpai right there. He's like, wow, but we actually do want he's just a big fanboy, though, trying to get, you know, Again, he really didn't steal the data, though, but again, it's anime, it's a fanboy, of course, we already know what the situation's gonna be anyway. We see Ash and Goku just completely react, and Pikachu looks like, huh? But yeah. We see him all completely react to stuff like that. Of course, we see him, you know, he's forgiving him and stuff like that. He just want an autograph, of course. I mean, again, he's a fanboy. He doesn't... It always happens in real life, though. You know, people are fans. You know, they want to be their heroes and stuff like that. Trust me. I get it. I get it all the time. It happens. So, of course, everybody's going to react, have different situations. They don't know what to do. They're just sneaking in just to get what they want. Again, I can honestly relate to this episode, though. Not to me specifically, though, because I never... I would never... Would specifically really do that though but yeah of course we see it like you know of course we act to stuff like that go ash and go kind of feeling bad for him and stuff like that of course we see autograph from him which is really good though again the episode turned out really good though of course um sabo got tell uh, um sabo you know do everything it been through it evolved and we see go and of course you know i'm telling you like have a reaction though of course really good episode but the ending was actually really good like this part like right here we see go kind of crying going down the sabo has drizzle kind of route but we see it fully evolving to telling on it finally achieved his own dream that's really good though so yeah um again the episode's really I give it like a, I really want to say four or five and a half stars because again, we, I feel like we should have seen a little bit more of the training, I believe. Just a little bit though, because it kind of just comes out of nowhere a little bit though. But overall, it's actually pretty good though. Like the training we've seen is like evolved. We've seen it like, go through everything. Like after everything has been through, it's finally evolved into what it wants. Again, mainly because, you know, you know, we got Scroll Bunny. Then after that, we got Sabo. You know, that's why we saw Center Race going inside the ball a lot. You know, just to replace, you know, because you know, it's like, S Score Bunny moved on to Grookey, then we went to Ensemble, then Grookey again. Grookey was there, there just to fill out the time, honestly. Which I kind of noticed now a lot in the reviews I've seen with, of this episode. Yeah, really. So, yeah. I'm um, pretty much going to go ahead and end the video there. I love the episode. I thought it was great. Again, like everything Go went through, basically, Sobble went through, and Telly and Drizzle, and it, it evolved thanks to, you know, Go's, you know, termination. Because it was about to cry. It's just like, no, I'm not doing that again. I want to evolve. I want to get stronger. I want to protect Go and stuff like that. So, that's the reason why I felt like it evolved and did its own thing. It really was good in the end. I loved it. I loved it. Beautiful um, presentation. Really good. Um, Just leading on to so it, trending in the background and stuff like that. We see all the memories of Go and Ash. Again, for Go, this is for him. This is like, you know, research. This is everything he's been through since the beginning of the series. Almost 50, 70 plus episodes almost of just this stuff going on. He's like messed up about it. He doesn't know what to do. And Go usually finds a way to do a thing, but he can't because all his stuff has been go being gone. And get Ash is just, you know, trying to cheer him up in the background. Again, we really didn't see him in that much in this episode, which is okay. He's trying to go from all ghost perspective. But yeah, really good episode though. That was really good. That was really great. Character development for Sobble, Drizzle, whatever. 
I really good. It seemed from the beginning, again, it was obvious it was going to evolve because it's just setting up it perfectly well in the episode. Again, I can gush about this episode a lot, though. I will probably review that Chloe one, honestly, though, because we got two Chloe's. Love Chloe as a character and stuff like that. Again, we have, I haven't really reviewed The episode was really good. Um, Italian's, you know, striving to become an um, Italian, evolving is really great. Drizzle, of course, training and stuff like that after, you know, basically, again, like a person, Grookey, Score Bunny, all that stuff, of course. But yeah, we got, it's good. We got to see him train and stuff like that, of course, like I said. Train up, doing everything he can to, of course, evolve. We already know about that already, though. But it's pretty good, though, of course. I, I love seeing stuff like, you know, off screen to come back on screen and stuff like that, even though we didn't see it at all. I thought like we kind of got a glimpse of it, at least. But I still think it's actually really good overall, just in general, though. Like, you're training, it's training by itself while, you know, Ash and Go are going on their adventures a lot. Um, I will probably review that like, Koli episode with the Umbreon and, of course, um, Espeon. I keep forgetting the name. I just evolved them all in Pokemon Go for the Eevee Community Day. I'm a one. I'm an arc. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All good joke again, though. Make sure I stay safe. Watch trains. God bless. I'll be going out. But when Master's Club Pepper really need to. Or get vaccinated. I don't know. So, what you guys think about all this? If you can. So, what you guys think about all this info? Of course, you like to just hit it. I love the episode. I think we are going to get a Diamond and Pearl one that probably in winter, weirdly, when the games are going to come out. But well, again, like the sub with the opening of the new Diamond and Pearl games. Or, see, yes, I'm getting them. But the new Diamond and Pearl games, of course. Um, we are going to get a Dialga Podcast special, which I did announce in the. For Pokemon, of course, like I said, for Pokemon Journeys or Go and Pokemon uh, anime, of course, you know, going on right now. And stuff like that, like currently going on right now. We'll get Dalkia yeah, Pucky, especially near winter, probably makes sense with the games coming out and stuff like that. You know, it's like the hardcore and also for callback and sending out. So, yeah, see you guys there, though. Okay, no. So.